Welcome back. It's no secret that 2020 was an unprecedented year, especially for our state's education system. Now, a majority of the students were forced into virtual learning as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's put our schools into quite the tricky situation when it came to supporting students. I spoke with Jackie Baldwin, executive director of Siembra Leadership High School, to find out what they are doing to support their students during these trying times. Jackie Baldwin is joining us this morning. She is the executive director with Siembra Leadership High School. Jackie, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. Right now, let's tell everybody at home some of the support uh, services that uh, you guys provide for those students. Yeah, absolutely. So being the leader of a high school is super important to not only focus on academics, but student support. So we're doing things like having a very large comprehensive team of social workers at the high school. Uh, that's very different from your uh, larger traditional schools where there might be like one social worker clinician at the school. We have six. Um, and what we're doing is making sure we're, uh, you know, sharing resources with students and delivering food boxes or doing home visits, uh, trying to support young people with housing, uh, just really whatever a young person is facing, it's important for us to be able to, to help with that. Yeah. Let's talk about what this uh, equitable assessment is all about. Equitable assessment. So assessment is really just a fancy term for test. Okay. Um, so a lot of times it's like, what, what is the test? And it's like, fill in on the bubble and get the real sharp pencil. And we're trying to think through and be creative, knowing that historically New Mexico has been, you know, last in education, really bad with child welfare outcomes, really bad with um, poverty outcomes for our young people. So we're thinking through how might we design curriculum and design assessments to kind of meet kids where they're at. So a little bit of uh, what we're doing is, is project-based learning. So we have every young person cycling through projects at the school. So instead of traditional math class or science class or English class, they're doing these real world projects. And I'd love to share two examples with you. Definitely. Um, yeah, yeah. So one example is uh, how do we revitalize downtown Albuquerque? The school itself is located downtown but kids are getting an economics credit and a math credit to kind of think through, okay, you know, COVID's happening, pandemic's happening. How do we make downtown a more robust place right now? Um, so for kids to get involved in that kind of real world way has been super, super important. Wow. And again, there's so many opportunities and uh, foundations that are being provided to the students at the school. Let's talk about uh, some of the internships as a, as a means of engagement. Yeah, absolutely. So. We also feel in addition to offering, uh, you know, a high school diploma, as would any high school in New Mexico, it's important to give young people experiences where they're able to practice engaging in jobs. So we said, hey, we want to not only give a young person high school credit for having an internship, but we also want to pay them and we also want to partner them with the mentor. And we do that a very thoughtful work with future focus education, uh, which has been great. Wow. And again, there's also opportunities for community partners to have a hand in this as well, correct? Community partners are huge for our school. So I kind of talked a little bit about project-based learning and our whole curriculum is designed off of community partners pitches. So a couple times a year, what we do is have community partners come in and say, hey, this is what's going on out there. This is what I'd like your young people to work on. And then our job as a school is to do this back end work and tailor projects um, a tailor credits to each project. So our, our partners are a huge, huge piece of the school. Wow. There's also some senior businesses and uh, commercial competition helping as well, right? Yes. So Siembra is focused on entrepreneurship and economic development. So in the 12th grade year for a young person, the complete focus is on them running their own business. So they're able to get that real world experience. Um, and what we did recently, rather than have like a sit down paper and pencil test is have kids come up with a commercial and then we align some funding to that and we're able to give kids some cash prizes uh, for this commercial competition. Wow. So Jackie, for anybody watching at home this morning and say, you know, hey, I want my son or daughter to, to attend Siembra and achieve these uh, wonderful opportunities, how can they do that? Oh, yeah, we, we'd love to have them. So we're actually at APS Charter High School. Uh, we're free, we're public. And you just go to 
siembra, abq.org. It's S-I-E-M-B-R-A. And you can fill out a lottery application there. We're actually taking students now, but we'd, we'd love to add more to our family. And we'd definitely love to hear more about the success of those students. Jackie, thank you again for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.